Chick project will improve the sustainability of food system. We need this knowledge um, because there will be many plants we have to modify, adapt in the future to being um, more stress resistant, especially in respect to climate change. When we produce, we, we, we have to respect uh, regulation that uh, now is not uh, going well, it's obsolete. That means uh, that we are losing competitivity and opportunities to uh, give more benefits um, in food and health. If we're not moving forward on this project uh, and make it uh, uh, as a roadmap for for uh, other projects with the with the new breeding techniques, I think the rest of the world will uh, overtake uh, the EU uh, with their new breeding techniques. Uh, by studying and applying techniques that will allow the optimization of properties, in this case of chicory, at a rate that can respond to current needs uh, with the advantage that uh, the, the plant is prepared to respond. In our specific case, we are very interested in the inulin case, which is about 68% uh, dry weight in uh, the chicory plant. And in, inulin is widely used as a sugar replacer and fat replacer in ice cream and dairy products and bakery. And it's a very good uh, texturizer as well. So really, it has a big impact in the industry and the food products that you get at the end. And how can you can improve uh, nutritionally certain food products, but also how can you improve um, the whole sustainability value chain? But I hope if we get more enabling um, regulations in Europe um, that um, yeah, some of those products which are developed in the, in the project will realize in, in markets, so will be taken up by breeders, by farmers and then also by the food industry and um, so that there will be in the end really um, yeah, opportunities to, to get this crop into new or already established markets um, and to, to have new value chains which, which somehow benefit, of course, also that society. If you look through the SAG members uh, and the, the way they are involved in the, in the EU and, and, uh, and with this project together with all the different backgrounds, I think we can have a focus on on uh, the new breeding techniques. For food industry, we think that uh, with the Chic project, we could have access, uh, for example, to more and better inulin from chicory as an ingredient uh, and, and its applications in industry. Part would be the, um, the bioactivity. So um, I give some input on bioactivity, what is no needed, um, for example, um, to study so that maybe later we can also um, have a health claim for some products. Um. It gets reflected on the final products that you get at the end. So it, it reflects into the price that you will have for these um, chicory and at the end inulin in the market. But it also brings um, nutritional benefits as it is a dietary fiber into the final consumers. So really when you think of the products that you can make, which are um, ice cream and yogurts and um, fine bakery, with a much better nutritional profile and much better quality profile, that's why at the end this product can have an impact to the final consumer. The ways biotechnology is, is used and considered by these different stakeholders, I think it's um, useful for me to be able to bring that information back to our own researchers and really just the more involved different stakeholders are, um, the, the better the situation will be for the researchers themselves. The uh, Chick project uh, provided a high quality sequence of chicory to the uh, research community which is useful both for uh, basic science, for example, uh, on research on the evolution of uh, land plants and for applied research aiming at novel chicory varieties. It would also maybe benefit um, farming in general in view of sustainability, uh, a more diverse crop rotation, and yeah, it would just provide for breeders, but also for farmers, opportunities. And, and this is why we as stakeholders are really interested in this.